Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. Uh, we're uh, back at home for a little while and I've got a few different products here so kind of keep an eye out. Uh, all of these do kind of go right along with where I've been and, uh, and everything. So check out the channel if you don't know what's going on. Uh, but uh, first thing I've got for you today or for today's, for this video is this right here. Uh, now it says safe speed, but as you can see, it is a power bank. Uh, this is very helpful for where I was at in terms of keeping my electronics charged uh, since we didn't have regular uh, plugs and whatnot. Let's go ahead and open it up and we'll get to more information in a minute. All right, guys, so here it is. There's just a few things in the box, as you can see here, and uh, just the real simple stuff. We've got the basic user manual. Um, it is just a little fold out, uh, gives you some specifications, uh, as well as uh, some things in terms of charging and use. Uh, so pretty, pretty straightforward with this kind of a thing. Um, this is not obviously very complex. Uh, we have like a little uh, carabiner type thing here, just a little spring loaded. It does come with a little uh, sort of key ring type ring there. Uh, and that, of course, can hook onto this so that you can hang it off of, say, your backpack, a belt loop, something like that. Uh, it does, of course, come with a uh, charging cable. This does use the USB-C connection, so that's the newer one. It's rounded on both ends. It doesn't have the flat side to it. Uh, so this is the newer uh, model, which, of course, that also gives it the benefit of charging the newer devices out there. If you have a newer phone that uses the USB-C, you can, of course, use the one that you can charge this with to charge your device with as well. So double duty. Uh, and then, as you can see, this is a multi solar panel battery bank. And um, so it has the three extra panels as well as the panel that's directly on it. And uh, just to note, as you can see, this little lightning bolt with the little emanating uh, rings or partial rings, curves on the side there, um, that does mean this does do uh, induction charging. So you can actually just set your phone on here if you have a phone capable of it and do the wireless charging with this. But don't worry, again, this does have connections on the top here. As you can see right here, there are the standard two connections to plug in a USB cable to charge your device. So you can actually charge if you have single cables, you can charge up to three devices at a time on this. And then of course it has the USB-C port there in the middle. And that is of course for charging this, uh, if you wanna charge it a little bit faster. Um, you know, you charge it using the, uh, a wall outlet or something like that, that's going to charge it faster than the solar panels. The solar panels, um, even though there are multiples of it, do still take a good bit of time to charge one of these. As far as I know, the usual thing is if you have decent sunlight, meaning not heavy clouds and not a lot of shade that goes across, um, you can, and it depends on the time of year, of course, too. Uh, in the winter, uh, if you're out in the campsite like we've been dealing with, something like this would probably take about two, possibly three days of sitting directly in the open area of sun to, uh, to charge up. That's, of course, being with reduced days of sun and whatnot. And because this is a pretty decent size one, uh, if I, well, it doesn't say where you can see it here, but this is a 3,800 or 38,800 milliamp, so 38.8 .8 amp hours um, of battery charge to this. So a lot of uh, phones, their average is something around um, at the mid to high end, around 5,000 milliamps. So technically you should be able to charge a normal phone uh, seven times plus a little bit more from basically from dead to full charge with this, at least according to that. Now that's obviously there's always some fluctuation there, but to have a larger capacity one like that, which you can tell it is because it is thicker, 
Um, this is not obviously a thin device. This sits here, folds up just like this. And as you can see, it's sticking to my cloth here because we have Velcro. It uses a Velcro link there. Um, other ones may use snaps. Uh, my buddy has one similar to this and it has a snap on it. Uh, but this one has Velcro, so very easy to push on and off. You don't have to try and align it uh, for the snap, so it is a little bit nicer in that aspect. We do have kind of a, I believe this is a faux leather. I don't believe this is real leather. Um, it's possible it could be, uh, but type of covering for the uh, solar panels there. Uh, it also has, of course, the simple light on the back there, uh, which is pretty common. Most of these do have some kind of light on them, at least the the larger ones do. Um, you know, maybe the small ones, the little um, two to five thousand milliamp ones that are basically just a couple of batteries, almost like a, a couple of double A's or something like that. Those may not have it. Uh, now it has the uh, little button on the side, and let's see, I believe that. Let's see, hold it. There we go. So we've got the light here and we've got different brightness settings. There was high, there was a low, and then we've got flashing and strobe flashing and then off. But uh, so you know, that's what it is. So it has a high, a low, and then the SOS flashing is the first one. Strobe flashing is actually more of, it's supposed to be a safety feature. So if somebody's coming at you, you can flash their eyes if it's dark out and um, that way they won't be able to see you and you can maybe get away or something like that. So it is kind of tactical if uh, you want to call it that. And then on top of it, that button also tells you right here, which you may have saw when I first opened or, or when I first uh, had it out, that it does show the uh, charge rating. So you've got the green light over there, the green red. Um, and then you have the multiple bars here that go across the bottom, the blue. So once you obviously get to the last bar there, that's a full charge, which this is actually doing pretty well right now. It says it has um, three bars of charge, looks like out of the four or five. Uh, I'm just gonna read a little bit off of here. Uh, it does have overcharge protection on it. Uh, there's over discharge protection on it as well. So, you know, the circuitry inside over voltage as well. There's high temperature protection. So if it gets uh, overheated, it'll basically shut down and, and uh, try to preserve itself. Uh, over power protection. Again, if you're charging it and you're not push, you don't want to push too much power into it too fast. Uh, there's restore protection, which I'm not sure exactly what that would be. If you guys have an idea on that, put that down there in the comments below. Um, kind of enlighten the rest of us. That would be helpful for sure. Uh, magnetic field protection, which I'm not sure uh, if that's really that big of a thing because this is solid state. Um, it is not something like the mechanical uh, drives, like the old platter drives where you had to worry about magnetics unless they're talking about the fact that this is induction and induction does use um, magnetic fields to charge phones or or what have you uh, so that may be what that's about and it has again also short circuit protection uh, so uh, pretty pretty reasonable in that let's see um, it does give you some uh, some information here at the bottom of the box they talk that they sit there and they put these through a pretty reasonably rigorous test to make sure that they're working properly and everything like that. And they are uh, UL certified. But uh, this is gonna be a big advantage. I do have some other uh, battery banks. Some of them are not too bad. Uh, they, they do pretty well. Uh, a good handful of them are definitely older. Uh, some of them are very thin, so it's a single flat pack battery that uh, even though it says it's a much higher amperage than I think than it really is, uh, you know, you're not, you, you do need the thickness because you need that mass to get your amperage out. Uh, just like batteries, you look at a AAA versus a D cell, uh, big difference, same voltage, there's still one and a half volts, but a AAA is like 900 milliamps 
a D cell is going to be, you know, 5,000 or, or something like that. So it's going to, of course, last a lot longer and it's going to be able to charge and do a lot more at that same one and a half volts. So uh, this is definitely going to be helpful, especially when I can't plug in and I can sit here and at least charge a little bit and keep things somewhat charged using something like this. If you guys, of course, want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. There is going to be a link to this in the uh, Amazon site. And uh, of course, there's also the social media links down there. And then, of course, uh, there's always that PayPal link if you guys want to help out the channel. Um, all of these products, unless I tell you otherwise, are things I have paid for uh, myself. Now, I do use some. I don't always use them all. Sometimes it's just for you guys to see. Uh, so uh, it does help out. And that way you guys can be brought more product information uh, as I'm able to uh, get new things out. Anyhow, uh, you also don't want to forget, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, as well as ring that little bell down there so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, stay tuned. There are other ones that are, again, included into kind of the camping kind of stuff and uh, what I've been doing. And again, if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check out some of the other videos. But that'll do it for me today, guys. Again, my name's Cougar. This is the World of Me Amazon Review Series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.